The Olden World, written by Tsar Yoshi. Chapter 463 Quest Log Updated Glory to Garshiva! May her love as deep as the olden fold and her virtue as pure as the moon be revealed to the entire world. Scheisberg blinked, quickly realizing that she and her friends weren't the only ones who had come out to watch the Great Sphinx clear the storm. A posse of ponies and griffins who worked in the various central buildings had emerged, including a sizable number of bat pony mares clustered around a larger pale peach leader and plenty of office types from the administration building. The commerce building opened to the south, so no one needed to leave that watch. The chant rang out over the hills as most of the crowd lifted hooves or talons in salute and cheer, and then they began to disperse and head back inside, some eager to return to their duties, and others looking like they had been present as a matter of ritual. But others acted like they had just been given a divinely appointed break, standing around on the wet walkways and grass as water dripped loudly from eaves and chugged down downspouts. For a minute, a rainbow hung in the air as the sun unleashed its presence on the last bit of rain and the weather continued to clear until the temperature rose and everything was fair. Yes, we won't be needing these. Valet shrugged and wiggled her way out of her poncho and Shinespark used her horn to do the same, shaking the thick rubber garment free of most of its moisture and letting her coat decompress against the sun. It wasn't hard to understand why some ponies were staying, the air laden with petrichor, and the sky suddenly inviting. The world felt like it was waking up, a wave of refreshment almost as good as a full night's sleep blowing for the grass. Chauncey, a strict voice suddenly demanded, and before Scheinsberg had time to process where it was coming from, Valet snapped to her side, hiding behind her. Scheinsberg frowned, and Niala looked with her. The large, peach-colored bat pony who seemed in charge of the rest of the ones there was crossly making her way over, a reluctant udder mare in tow. Chauncey, standing nearby and admiring the sky in his ornate pontifex's robes, gave her a raised eyebrow as she approached, but no words. Watch out, Valley hissed, mouthing in Shinesbuck's ear. Fetch me not. Runs the service staff in Percival's place. If she sees me, there might be trouble. Yeah, Menef ignored him entirely, marching straight to Chauncey and giving him a cross stare. I've been hearing stories those Firefly sisters of yours have gone missing. Small wonder, with the cover article on today's paper, pressuring them into concerts that split their fans and chased them away. She tusked, clicking her teeth. Well, you never learn what it means to respect your family. Chauncey countered with a coldness Shinespark had rarely felt coming from another pony, uh, bearing in mind that Herman was a yak. You knew as well as I do how I feel about family, he hissed, eyes hard and angular. My girls are in trouble, and you'd use that as a platform to lecture me on things you and only you care about? Despicable. A vein twitched on his forehead, and then he turned to leave. I have business that's far more important than you are. Now go back to your work, Maynef. Wow, what the... Valet stepped cleanly out into view, the fur on her spine raising as she glanced between Chauncey and Maynef. Sure, she's strict and rude and stuff, but bananas, what gives? Chauncey turned his glare on her. Stay out of things that were over before you were fooled. If you want to follow up on my earlier offer, you already have the codes to the hospital elevators. Then he was gone. Valet and Shinespark both stood staring, but Niala turned to Minaf and tilted her mechanical head. Excuse me? You're all right, aren't you? You look scary. Minef gave a dirty, tired sigh and adjusted her pose, revealing the other bad pony hiding behind her. She had a black coat and a long, unkept mane that was just too muddy to be called aquamarine, yet looked like it could be beautiful with proper grooming and stared at the ground with defeated, tired eyes. 
You can butter him all you want, a tired mayor sighed, dressed in a form-hugging black-and-white maid's uniform that covered her cutie mark with a frilly skirt. I've told you, I wouldn't forgive him even if he said he forgave me. This doesn't help, Maynef. Maynef wrapped a wing around her barrel. He's still the only family you've got, Crystal, and he'll have to learn how to appreciate that some day, for others' sakes if not yours. Um, hello? Niala took two steps closer. <sighs> Minev glanced up. That's a fancy disguise you've got there, kid. Some of my girls would love to tinker with it. I hope you're not hanging around with that hooligan over there. Seriously? Blaine narrowed her eyes. You just got epically chewed out by Chauncey and you're still picking on me? I nearly felt sorry for you. If he wanted me gone, he would have fired me decades ago when it happened, Minaf sighed. Crystal, you should spend some time with this one. Maybe she'll liven you up. Valet and Crystal briefly met each other's eyes, but Crystal looked away. Maybe, she said, and left it at that. Nevertheless, Valet grinned. Was that an endorsement? Uh, Minaf rolled her eyes. If there's anything out there that can build her some confidence and self-worth, I'll take it. But you'd be an idiot to have expectations. She raised an eyebrow, still hugging Crystal with a wing. What are you three doing following that old coot around? Something related to those missing Firefly sisters? Serena's fine, Shinespark assured her, nodding a greeting. Melia's the one who's missing. I'm Shinespark. I don't think we've met. Minef walked closer, marching Crystal along with her and extending her free wing. Minef, you've got quite a friend over there, Shinespark. For all of you, if you're dealing with Chauncey and get the chance to knock some sense into him, take it for me. And if not me, then her. She squeezed Crystal slightly, trying to prod the mare into speaking. Crystal frowned and looked at the ground, and Minef sighed. Whatever you do, good luck, and come and visit sometime. I've got a good feeling about you free. She raised her free wing again in farewell as she guided Crystal back toward Percival's manor, leaving Valais, Shinespark, and Niala looking at each other. She seemed nice, Niala offered. I liked her. Why were you hiding earlier, Shinespark asked, raising an eyebrow. Ah, uh, Valais shuddered. I don't know, maybe I passed an initiation or something? Look, like, I don't know, what are we doing now? You wanted to follow Chauncey, Niala said. You were going to keep watch for danger, and I was going to be cool and technological while Shinespark looked for anything suspicious, right? Yeah, Valley glanced uncertainly after the retreating Minev. Really, though, that's getting out of my skin. Something big must have happened between those three. What we're really doing is trying to find anything suspicious at all that could be tied to what's going on with the Firefly sisters, right? Like, poking around in general. And honestly, if there are strange family members and he dotes on Melee and Serena now instead of that crystal, you think that could have anything to do with anything? Shinespark nodded firmly. No one can say something didn't happen between them. Are you saying you want to go investigate that instead? Mm, Valley shrugged. We have a standing invitation from both of them, apparently. And personally, I'd rather try to cheer up a sad mare with a crabby boss than lurk around in tunnels with weird science. Makes sense, right? I'm at home at tunnels, Shinespark offered. We shouldn't split up, though. I don't want to go underground if there's a conspiracy going on without some form of defense, and Niala doesn't know how to fight. Uh, about that, uh, Valet raised an eyebrow at Niala. Keep getting steady on your hooves and stuff, but I'm thinking it would probably be a good idea to get some combat lessons in for everyone on our boat. Like Slipstream and Iron Flanks and Starlight as well. Wallace said something about there being no fair play in the tournament, so at the very least, thinking ahead, I'd like you guys to be able to defend yourselves. We've got a month before the second round, but if things are getting suspicious now, why not start early? Good idea, Shinespark agreed. I should brush up on out-of-armor combat myself, but we will need to get a better power source for Niala first. I'm not sure how much I like the idea of fighting, Niala admitted, looking at her hooves. It doesn't sound very fun. Valet patted her on the back, having to reach mightily and eventually fly to do it. Eh, yeah, we'll talk you into it. For now, though, we should do something. 
want to go follow up on seeing if Crystal can tell us anything suspicious? Mm, Shinespeck shrugged. Would you do the talking? I'm not the world's best therapist. Vali raised an eyebrow. Am I? You... <sighs> Shinespeck gritted her teeth. You got me out of that cave after the dam, didn't you? Oh, bananas, I totally forgot about that. Vali's eyes widened. Kind of finer than the things we should never talk about again. You want to talk about that or not right now? Shinespark pushed her back with a hoof. I'm just bringing it up. So, Minath and Crystal? Yeah, sure. Vali grinned, leaning away. Sad horse spirit raising in the name of information, here we come. And because you didn't actually look that bad. I'm not the only one who thought that, right? Just saying. End of chapter 463